Ladies and gentlemen, here's another rat infestation story coming out of New York City. This time it's at a meat manufacturing company and the rats were in there feasting on the red meat and poultry. And there was over 42,000 pounds of meat in there. And they're claiming they don't know where the meat ended up. So that meat could have easily ended up on the market. Who knows if it was just sold within New York City or, you know, to vendors beyond New York, which I would not be surprised. But it is so disgusting to know that you could be potentially eating meat that a rodent got to first. Oh, man. You know, that's one thing about this country. They are not shameful about taking stuff like that and putting it out on the market. So the story is starting with them being taken to court. And they were inspected. And one of the inspectors even said while they were in there, a rodent actually start crawling up their leg. That is just, oh man, I, I think I would lose it if that happened. But it, it just seems like when it comes down to New York, and it's really all major cities are struggling with rodents, you know, but New York, it seems to get the most publicity when it comes down to this thing. A federal food safety case reveals latest New York City rat horror story. Prosecutors reached a settlement with the operator of a meat and poultry warehouse that had been infested with rodents before it was shuttered. A courthouse at 500 Pearl Street in Manhattan, federal prosecutors reached a court settlement with the operators of a rodent-infested warehouse that stored more than 40,000 pounds of meat and poultry while one official said that the meat was definitely being offered for sale for human consumption, he could not say who the company's customers were or whether any of the meat in the warehouse was actually sold. The details of the case, made public on Friday, immediately entered the pantheon of New York City rat tales. There was the time in 2020 when a man fell through a sidewalk in the Bronx and into a pit teeming with rats, and many New Yorkers have stories of rats making unwelcome appearances from behind apartment walls or emerging from plumbing fixtures. This year, Mayor Eric Adams appointed the city's first rat czar to confront the long-running rodent problem. Perhaps most famous was Pizza Rat, a large brown rat that went viral after video emerged, showing it dragging a large slice of pizza down the stairs to an L-line station in Manhattan in 2015. But it was meat rats and several instances of selling misbranded chicken gizzards, pork spare ribs, and other meat that put an end to Ya Fung, which ceased operations at the end of 2022. The lawsuit accused the company, its owner and president, Lin Min Young, and the warehouse manager, Kong Ping Ni, of violating the Federal Meat Inspection Act and the Poultry Products Inspection Act. To resolve the lawsuit, the company and the two men signed an agreement known as a consent decree barring them from any work or business involving meat and poultry that would be regulated by those laws. It was approved on Friday by Valerie Caproni, a U.S. District Court judge. The consent decree was announced by Damian Williams, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, whose office brought the lawsuit. After the 2022 inspections, Mr. Yang signed a statement, according to court papers, admitting that the company has a serious rodent issue, but at the same time, he acknowledged, despite his awareness of the problems, that he continued to offer the 43,000 plus pounds of meat and poultry for sale. Later that month, he voluntarily destroyed all of it. When federal investigators arrived at a meat and poultry warehouse on Allen Street in Chinatown in April 2022, they found what might have been New York City's best fed rat population. Rodents had been feasting on more than 43,000 pounds of meat and poultry inside the warehouse of Yafeng Trading as if it were an endless buffet. Rodent droppings littered the facility, including on and around containers of meat, 
nesting materials, and a dead mouse were found in a walk-in cooler. As one investigator spoke to the warehouse's owner, four 12-inch rodents scurried into a nearby cooler. Minutes later, a rat ran up the investigator's leg, according to court papers. The stomach-turning scene led to a federal lawsuit in which Manhattan prosecutors accused the company of violating laws governing the storage and inspection of meat and poultry. The suit was settled on Friday. Wow, just listening to that just makes my stomach turn. There's no telling how many tables this meat has ended up on or how many restaurants served the meat from this warehouse. I mean, in order for them to have like 42,000 pounds of meat, they had to be distributing that meat all over the place. Ugh. And, you know, you got to think about how many years did this go on, you know, and how many people got sick and did not understand why they got sick after eating this meat. Oh, man, because, you know, they don't just leave mice droppings. They leave their urine all over the place, too. It, oh, man, mm, mm, mm. sure makes you think. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.